sharks? Well, it is about dinner time, so before I hit the strip, I'm gonna run downstairs to the concierge and see if they've got any ideas for something quick and casual here at Bellagio. Let's get started. It's the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Okay, so the first place I tried was the Mayfair Supper Club, but it looks like it's closed right now. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get in at Lago. Lago is looking just a little busy right now, but I bet you we can see about room for one at the bar. All right, it's Venetian Sharks, here we are at Lago. We're sitting at the bar right now. Looks like they have well over 100 drink bottles up there to choose from, so we'll probably enjoy that. Very pretty scenery. Give you a nice little look around to the restaurant. So now that I'm here at the bar area, I guess we'll go ahead and do a little, uh, have a look at the menu and see what's good. All right guys, so here we are at Lago. They have the QR code below. I'll go ahead and show you what the, uh, what the menu looks like and then we'll go ahead and rock and roll from there. All right, the cocktail list is actually separate. It comes up on a different website. Uh, because it's your signature cocktail, I suppose I'll try the Lago cocktail, and I'll let you guys know if it's any good. Uh, looks like it's got a lot of stuff going on, and that'll hit you on the back end there. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. That is amazing. So what do we call this? this is a Lago cocktail, right? All right, and this has got fresh strawberries on it, vodka, everything. Molto bene mi pisano, grazie. All right, well, let's go ahead and try this out. All right, let's finish some sharks. We are ready for a drink, so here we go. Here's our Lago cocktail. Mm. Wow, you can't even taste the alcohol in it. I can knock down like eight of those. I don't want to taste it. Also, the amazing little rounded sphere over there, too kind of adds to it and it's got fresh strawberries over there. That's a five out of five. Ace is feeling pretty happy about that one. I bet you even one one can drink that. It kind of tastes like an alcoholic strawberry one. I'll, that's what I like it too. A strawberry mojito or something like that. So if that's something that you're into and you like a little pasta, it might be an option for you. But that's your signature cocktail. Alright guys, and as always, we've got the uh, bread and sauce over here. It looks like it's a sort of vinaigrette. Um, so olive oil and a vinaigrette in here. We're gonna go ahead and see what it's like We'll have a bit of it on the bread, and then we'll just kind of rock and roll from there. All right, here we go mm. That's a really soft French bread Fluffy fresh baked still warm too so either I got here at a good time or they actually bake it fresh every time for uh, for the customer right there, and that's actually really cool of them to do. So, all of those light, tastes pretty good. Can't think of anything else I'd do to it, I guess. I better five, once more. All right, guys, here we go. And we've got a pasta over here. I forgot the name already. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the, uh, on the screen. And we'll probably pronounce it later. Neat thing that they do, they give you your own uh, scoop of Parmesan. You can also do the same thing with the chili powder flakes and all that. Let's go ahead and put some Parmi on this over here. We're not gonna overload it because I still want to taste the actual pasta. All right, we'll have a little bite of this too and let's see how it is. Mix it up a little bit. All right, here we go. Four. 
Fresh, simple, well seasoned. Yeah, definitely still taste the tomato and the sauce over there, so it's made from scratch. That's pretty good. They always aren't. The nearest I can tell, the pasta isn't pre made. Uh, it came out surprisingly quickly, honestly. So I'm guessing they might have been making a batch of sauce, honestly. It, it probably took them about 10 minutes to get the whole thing whipped up from when I ordered. So that's really impressive. And uh, yeah, everything's tasting pretty great. Are you okay? Uh, no, this is this is perfect. Excellent. So yeah, five out of five on that one. I'm actually really impressed. Wasn't anticipating this. All right, guys. Well, that was my Lago experience. Did I enjoy it? Definitely yes. I think that's the first time I've been super excited to clean my plate this whole trip over here. Three days down. We're doing really good. It was a reasonable portion sizes actually. So if it's uh, something that you're into. As a visitor from out of state, definitely good stuff for out of country, just FYI. Uh, sausage is made in house, everything's made in house, so good stuff. Five out of five, not overpriced. You know, it's like, uh, it's probably gonna be about 50 or 60 bucks a head if you guys get a cocktail and an entree, so just FYI. But otherwise, good time there. So Lago, Las Vegas, two thumbs up, total five out of five, no complaints. Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas